You know Mike that runs this place? Yes. Who? The, who? Guy, the guy that Dan Byer reports to. Mike, who runs this place? I know you love Mike. Mike was talking to Cavino before the show, and not to hijack where you wanted to start the show with, but he said, it's okay, Jason Tatum could wait. Yeah. I mean, he is the best. He'll still be here in 10 minutes. According to him. One of the best in the world. Well, Mike, who runs this place, said, hey, Cavino, you're going to Vegas with your daughter for a concert? And he said that back in the day, he just taught his daughter basic casino skills. So that she felt comfortable at the table. So whenever she got older and went on a little weekend trip with her girlfriends or her boyfriend, she knew what a blackjack table was. She knew the basics of craps or roulette. That way you don't go in blind, right? Now, I can't do that. My daughter's only 13, but we're going to a concert (laughs) this weekend. We're going to see Sick New World, which is System of a Down, Corn, Incubus, Deftones, Evanescence, Flyleaf. Papa Roach, and I got the uh, nervous pedos, nervous farts, just thinking about it because my flight keeps getting delayed. So that's a whole other side subject. Uh-huh. While we do the show, I keep getting alerts, like delayed again, delayed mm-hmm. again. So far, two hours delayed. Well, it's oh. a 40-minute flight to Vegas, I so know, you'll I get there stops. eventually. I hope so because so, the show's tomorrow morning. I bring that up because Mike's saying, hey, well, you know, I taught my daughter some skills. You know, my dad taught me what a parlay was. My dad taught me gambling. My I dad think your dad taught you the uh, the dance moves that he has. The his, chicken, what's his, it called? The uh, duck walk. The moves like Jagger. Yeah, his moves like Jagger. His man. Studio Fifty Four Seventies moves. Rich's dad's a big party guy. No, but uh, it it just comes up because you said for anyone keeping score at home, is it every dad or mom's job to teach their kid how to keep a baseball book and a bowling score? Even though bowling's automated now. You should know how to keep scoring bowling, and you should know how to keep scoring a book. I don't know if that's true anymore. I really don't. Like, for a kid to know how to keep scoring bowling, what does what does that get them? How would they even have? You think there's an overhead projector where they're doing it like they had when we were kids, or just a piece, or of, piece paper, of paper? Right? Nah, there's none ah. of that. Everything's computerized. Well, I'll say this: when I play softball on the weekend, but know, I do think it's a cool skill. I used to know how to keep score because I'm a you know superstar softball athlete, right, Spot? Absolutely. Hitting bombs. One of the I mean, best guys. It's me and Josh Allen hitting bombs. In the Hall of Fame. No, so I you know, playing the weekend, and you'd be amazed and embarrassed for how many guys, when, let's say, the, the you know, the guy that runs the team's like, all right, I'm on deck. Yeah, could someone keep the book? And there's a bunch of grown men that are like, oh, no, no. Yeah, but dude, I think you're talking like an old guy yourself because there's an app for everything. No, I, no one's keeping I know. books. Like, even books. Little League teams, all their have an stats, iPad. I know. I know. yeah, they're all on an app. No, but I'm saying, like, you should know. Ground ball to the shortstop. 6-3. I think these skills hey, are obsolete. I, I, I agree. It was fly fun ball for to, us to know, but... Fly ball to center field. What does it go? What do you mean? Fly ball to center field. Out. What, what do you put in the book? I haven't done that. I was always playing. Are you serious? I didn't keep score, man. I played. Well, so well, well, well. Like you. <laughs> so you, you just, sound you sound like one of my old softball managers, uh, right? Rich, because he would get so annoyed when he it was his turn to go up to bat. He's like, "I need someone. I need someone to F1? take one." Yeah, I need somebody. F one. What is this? A race? Fly out one. Where, where eight. Right? Just a big eight. Center <laughs> field. Old. Oh. Wow. You, didn't, you said pop in the outfield. Yeah, I said a fly field. ball to center field. Oh, I didn't hear center field. But <laughs> one would be a pop up to the pitcher. Wow, are you one out. are you as brain dead as the guys with my softball oh, no, team? I know the I know the positions <laughs> of the of the team, but I was playing. Right, I, didn't, gr- I didn't sit the bench, right, and I'm not uh, here to take your quiz. Ground ball I, to the second base when he turns a double play. I don't know six four three double play four six oh, three four six three double play. Maybe I'm the nerd, and every one of my softball team. I was, pl- I was on the field. I didn't like. sit the bench. So <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, it's the, sit the bench. Yeah, I didn't keep the book. Yeah, we, I didn't keep the book. We would have been, a, been a, like, Rich can do it. You would have been the uh, the assistant to the manager. Yeah, you would have jumped in to and do it. And now there's an app for everybody else to do I it. I get it. There's always someone's wife or girlfriend that has her iPad these days keeping score. Or the team mom or team dad that's keeping the score. But again, I mean, think about how we got here. We said you got to give your kid the essential skills to get by. Let them feel comfortable at the blackjack table so that when they turn 21, they're not clueless. You're talking about some stuff that kids don't even do at all anymore, and there's no need to do anymore. Yeah, but then you're the first guy to tell me. Just but because. I didn't do that when I was a kid. Why would I do that now? I didn't do that then. I did keep score wow. at the bowling alley, oh, but I never again. kept the scorebook because I was playing. You know who kept yeah, but- the scorebook? <laughs> the dude who sucked. I'm sorry. That's who did it's, it. It's, it's funny you say that as if I'm the guy that sucked. Well, I'm telling you my experience. Yeah, I'm not saying you sucked. I'm saying the guy that kept the scorebook was like the backup catcher or something. Or the or, coach's assistant. I just always assumed, like, didn't you, when you went to the, when, all right, I, 
I'm every not year. saying it's not like every year when I was a little boy, when I was just a little boy, Mike Tyson style. My dad would take me to Shea Stadium, the dump known as Shea Stadium, before City Field. Same thing in common though, the Mets stink. Sure. My dad would take me to Shea Stadium. He wouldn't buy me ice cream. You know why? Because you had it at home. Oh, we got that at home. Yeah, but dad, it's all right. Can I get a hot dog? Oh, we got hot dogs at home. So he wouldn't buy me the treats. But I got the program. And in the middle of the program was that little the little one sheet. And it was the page to keep score. All right, who's up? Mookie Wilson? Oh, he popped out to left field. Oh, Richie, that's left field. That's seven. Never did that. Oh. Strikeout, but he was striked out. I mean, he struck I remember out. keeping like I, I remember the book and using it and looking at it. It's not like I'm oblivious to it. I mean, are you oblivious? Like a strike. And I remember in high school, you know, going up to the kid on my team, like, yo, did you mark that as a hit? Good, because I'll give you a wedgie if you didn't. But, you oh, know, I must have been the guy getting wedgies. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that I wasn't ever keeping the scorebook, ever. All right. Well, but I guess in, the, not I guess in a world a, of uh, essential skills, I'm, would, naming, I'm naming some. I wouldn't. I would a say very that's, obsolete Yeah, skill. I would say that's one that Rich has that well, you wanted to brag about. Obsolete, like, not, not obsolete honestly, at all. Because it, no, it is. It's very obsolete. The, bo- the, very bowling, obsolete. the bowling one, you could argue, it's is obsolete. obsolete. And so is Equally the other obsolete. one. I, I started Equally off by saying obsolete. that. How does the kid keep scoring literally? Dude, you With sound like the guy. App. You sound like the guy that Michael K is talking to. I, For those of you keeping score at home, like Rich Davis. Pause. Do you, uh, Walk me through it. Walk me through it. Hold on. Genius. Hold on. I got to get my abacus to add this up. No, but walk me through it then. Yeah. On an app. Go ahead, genius. Uh, I, ju- I, I, just literally, I just did a simple Google search. No, no, but tell me how you're keeping score, uh, though. Game changer Dope. baseball softball was oh, an you, app. You would just, uh, just you can input use the score finger scenario. scorekeeper. Uh, everything that happens in the game can be registered but how, in this app I, and easily say, shared with your friends. Gregor's got a single. Uh, I score and baseball. One for one. Is the easiest way to track baseball or softball yeah, games. You using still the tool need included. to know. You can create games and scores and start using them in less than a minute. You don't even know because you still need to know. No, you don't. I, I wouldn't really you don't need know codes how codes to... and numbers and all this. You just say boop, 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 done. So it's a ground ball to third. He put out at second. Fielder's choice. How would you even? How would you put that in? Uh, I don't know. I don't use exactly. But that's what I'm yeah, saying. You I still need to it know. Since I tried, I, you know since what? I was 17. Let was, me. I haven't done it in 40 40 years. I'll download years. an app and I'll see. We'll we'll figure it out. Jesus, I haven't man. done that in thirty I wanna, years. I want to bang your heads together. Here's what we're gonna and I do. watch baseball every day. Here's what we're gonna do. And you're embarrassing if you watch a stupid Yankees every day and you don't know the fly out to left field seven. Hey, do you know that a strikeout looking's a backwards K? I did, of course. Yeah, of course I know I feel that. Like I'm talking to morons, but I don't keep the score. You and I will sit and watch a uh, Mets game together. But Rich. how does that tie into <laughs> essential skills of life? Yeah, that's there's because nothing Mike, essential about this. You who runs this place, you know the guy that's in charge of iHeart. <laughs> Mike? Yeah, that's not what he was getting at at he all. He was saying teaching your kid essential skills, I think that teaching your oh, I kid... I bet your daughter's going to be really thrilled when she learns this one from Pops. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that it's essential, and this is obvious. And my parents didn't pass down any of this to me, so I'll high five them. They spoiled me and coddled me, which meant I wasn't prepared for, for anything. For me, you want to know how to read a money line on a bet. You know what I find funny? I never gambled. Why would I? Why I never gambled. Now I would know because it's so mainstream, but... You know, I never, why would I need to know that as a kid growing up? There's skills dad's supposed say, to teach or mom's supposed well, why, to teach. Why don't you're the you, same person why don't that you, Hey, why don't you announce why nationally I, on the radio that my parents didn't teach me that? Hey. Your parents didn't teach you that. Your parents yeah. didn't teach you how to gamble. <laughs> what yeah. type of parents today? I know. <laughs> hey, back when it wasn't a thing, they never taught me. You want to talk Sorry. essential skills? You're the same person that thinks that a person should know how to yeah, change this, their own oil or their own tire. Yeah. Who changes their own oil? Broke people. This guy can't even change his oil, and he's yelling at Spot for now. I have, oh, high, per- I have high performance tires from Tyrac.com. I don't know, I have, man. A, you, you're going to change your own uh, Pirelli P0 right. Tyrac tire? No, you're not. You're All calling right. roadside assistance. Uh, fine. Stop it. Let me take that away. Rich, do you know how to do CPR? I do. I took a baby CPR course when my kids were born. Okay, fine. That's essential to so me. I'm a so genius. did I, and I forgot. <laughs> so I, I would think Scrank. I need a refresher <laughs> on that. But life essentials is what we were getting at. Keeping a scorebook for uh, the 1984 Mets, I don't know how important that is. Uh, but Well, you know what? The, the final word on this is going to go to the guy that is so involved in children's sports. He coaches. Ramos, should a kid know how to keep a book? I do think a child should know how to oh, wow. score a game, yes. Every kid? He, he, no, so I, I, I do think they should, have, I think they should have an idea. I, I score a keep every game. 
Because you're the coach. Right. That makes sense. Yeah, but but I mean, I do think they should know what the positions are and things like that. But I do agree with Spot. I mean, we do have the game changer. We use it all for Little League. All that stuff is done. Well, those apps are great for yeah. keeping batting average. Yeah. LPS, yeah and you, RBI. you can share with the whole team right, right away. Is it essential in life? No. No. Is it essential in baseball to know what the positions are? Yes, but that's those are two entirely different things. Well, you know what? Yeah. What we learn in life, Ramos, isn't always the best either. We learn how to make a we learn how to make a race car in in a shop class. Or we know how to make and a napkin holder. We learn how to make a pillow in home ec, but no one ever tells you about uh, credit scores and, yeah. and, and, with, and investing. Or I'm with all of you. I'm, I'm on all of your sides in this one. So <laughs> I know about ancient Rome, but not know how to, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to invest my money. Yeah. Well, Rich, those. we laved the baseball bat. Came in handy later. <laughs> so let me, I'm telling you, maybe I'm on my own here, and if I am, then, uh, then I'm the fool. So Rich Davis, the fool, everyone. I mean, I don't think you're ever wrong to have knowledge, but to expect that everyone to have the yeah, same knowledge as you is... Mm-hmm. Is it's a good skill to have, but to tout it as something that's essential that everyone should know is ridiculous. Well, no, maybe not. All right, no, spot. don't change your tune. Your tune is it's essential. You're in, you're you played uh you tout your uh your soccer prowess as a kid. You didn't play. You were on a I baseball kid, like, but if you played baseball for three years as a child, Rich. No, but if you played baseball, in, then um, I feel like maybe you would have been like, oh yeah, I need to. I also played basketball. It's like I, those are the sports I chose. That's like saying someone that grew up playing basketball I'm doesn't know every, doesn't know the position. Like guard, forward, power forward, every, center. I, like yeah. you know, like you, it's just basically knowing the stuff. And I feel like you're you teach your kids that along the way. The same way Big Mike, to bring it back to it, said, teach your kids the basic gambling game. So when they go to Vegas or Atlantic City for the first time when they were like eighteen or twenty one or whatever it is, they're they're a little in the know. You don't want your kid going to you know, a casino. It was more like life skills. It's like he was getting at, you know how some people cower or they get real timid when when ordering food for the first time or something like that. I even see my daughter like, Dad, I don't know what to say. And I'm like, Melody, you just tell her what you want, what you don't want. Because for years I've done the and ordering. And if you can't pronounce it, point. Trying, yeah, just, you know, <laughs> go ahead and tell her. Like, these are things you got to prepare them for. Like, my parents never taught me how to wash my clothes. You know, these things uh, yeah. I had to figure out along the way. My parents never taught me how to, uh, how to cook. But did you, you ask? These no, because I had I no interest. I had not that's, zero that's interest, you. I think and they that's did on it you. for me. But Mike was talking about, like, if you have, let's say, um, a boy, or yeah, it doesn't have to be a boy. I'm not trying to be sexist here. But, you know, you want to teach him how to man the grill. You know, that's something that you should teach him so that when he gets to it, he kind of has an understanding. Yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to have your first cookout and be like, "I don't know right. when to take the steaks off." Like, dad should. Dad or mom should have taught you when yeah. to take the steaks I off. I mean, I, I definitely was on the phone with my dad. Like, yo, man, what, what do I do? Like, I remember like one you time. Never the, taught me. Yeah. yeah, he never taught. I remember like flame came shooting out one time, almost blew up the patio because I didn't know. I think as far as so Mike was saying, what skills could you pass along, like? Hey, here's how you play blackjack. Here's how you feel comfortable at the poker table. Like the basics. I'll give you one. In life, that I'll give they don't you a basic teach one. you in school. A basic one? I d- and it's so easy, but I don't think oil changes and changing tires are... But how could you say that well, and hold think on. keeping a scorebook for Little League is essential? Well, we're Fox Sports, dude. What do you want me to tell you? Okay, but I'm just saying you, you were really we're not on. We're not on uh, oil, uh, you know, we're not on uh, oil change radio. Car and driver radio. Yeah, come on. We're talking to people that like sports. I would say Forget more people for a second. would find it. Yeah, We're on more, I, would, yeah. I would argue I realize that there's a lot of people in their car listening. Let's saying, talk about electoral yeah, colleges. I know how to change my oil. But I'm saying... I would argue there's correlation between people who are into sports, people who are into cars. There's a lot of overlap yeah, there, Yeah, I, I, think, I think changing your own oil is something you... you Can't be you, one-dimensional. You could know, you should know how to do, but it's one of those things, the time and effort, just go get your oil changed. Now, tires, most cars, we looked this up recently, Danny G, you're a guy that loves higher-end cars. Most cars don't come with a spare yeah, tire anymore. anymore. Yeah. For yeah. So the idea of like changing your own tire, like plus you, this, there's special lug nuts, there's yeah. special tools on yeah, some of the cars. It's, it's, it's not 1987. It's cost, you know. space, and weight. Yeah, I mean, of like the car. if you if you if you have like a high performance, like a like a, what would you call it a uh, like a thinner tire, a Pirelli, a high performance, yeah. a racing tire, like more of a racing oh. tire. You know, that's no a run flat tire. Yeah, like or a, or a run flat tire. That's another you know, one. Run flats. Most Everybody know. knows run flats. I have this. I think, though, one thing you should know how to do, because we've all done it, and I think we've all, we're like, oh, am I doing this right? 
you should know how to jumpstart a car. Yeah. And it's something nah, I that I always, I always I, I still, with caution. I, I still I look, look it up, it up every up. time. I still look it up. Because I forget the order. <laughs> every time. Every time I've needed to jump a car, I go to YouTube and I'm like, so, all right, red so first, red, then the black. black. Okay, that's exactly yeah. what good, Mike was good, getting at. Bad, like man. he wanted his daughter to feel prepared enough to like know what she was doing or at least have an understanding once she got to that situation. Now we have the luxuries of Googling it real quick, but I still approach that like very tentatively. And I'd rather like pass it off to a guy like Spy. Spy, you know how to do this, right? Yeah. I'm just being honest about it. Oh, um, you know, here's an interesting one. I, I lack a lot of these things. I'm not going to lie. I um, wasn't here to brag about it. I don't think I'm the best in the world like Richard like Jason Tatum. If we're talking essential skills, like I think driving a manual is an essential skill. You never know where, where you may be, where and you might I, need to hop in a car and, and I'll drive admit, it. I don't know it. Rich, well, he'll get defensive. More than I keeping score it. at softball. I mean... I, I could I could do it. I'm not great at driving a manual car, but I could do it. Here's the thing. Less and less manual cars. But I, I agree with you, Spot. If I'm going to claim baseball books are important, then manual cars, yes. We get a lot of feedback, and I, I, I do want to tell everyone, if I seem a little testy, I'm, I'm sorry. Testy? You, like, uh, shot out of a cannon. No, you know what it was? I realized what That's it was. That's why he has this helmet on. <laughs> you know he, what it was? He came here in, in a cannon. Okay, I can tell you what, Danny J. Ramos, I'll tell you what it is. My wife was at my son's school this morning for a little mom, Mother's Day, a little mommy and me, little party, and we didn't do our podcast this morning, so I was just chilling alone all morning. Oh, I so I haven't had I anyone. Was... I haven't had anyone to debate or argue until right now. So this is what happens to me. I thought it was the six cups of coffee you had. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Why you not? know what it was too. My wife forgot we weren't doing the podcast this morning from the home studio. So she made a whole pot of coffee, oh. and, I, and I, I was like, well, I don't want this to go to waste. Were you funneling it? What was uh, going butt on? Fun, butt funneling yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, um, I figured that. Greg hit us up. Uh, our buddy Mercer in Pittsburgh, big Fox Sports Radio listener, said there's two things that come to mind. Does a kid need to learn cursive anymore? No. And I saw this ridiculous clip, guys, on TikTok or Instagram, where they were showing all these teenagers a clock with hands. And they're like, yo, I don't know, yo, 7, 12? It's like, no, 7, 12. Yeah. Do they was, need to? No. It was 7 o'clock, and they're like, I don't know, is it 7, 12? Is it good for them to know? Like, does my daughter, who's 13, know how to tell time and write in cursive? Yes. But does she need it? Probably not. Interesting, not in today's though, world. How do kids formulate their signature if they never learn cursive? They print it. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't I have no idea. It's a great question, Spot. That is right? a great question. I'll see. We're, we're, we're getting deep here, guys, Sorry. on Friday. 